How's it going guys? It's time to take a deep dive into the brand new update, Modern Horizons, update 35. It's just been fully revealed, so this video is going to cover everything you'll need to know about the entire update, the new cars, the new car pack, the new features, everything right here. Let's get straight to it. I'll start off by teasing the new car pack that's in this update. It is a Universal Icons car pack. I'm going to tell you in detail about this car pack later on, but I'm giving away some codes for this car pack as usual. If you want a chance to win some, they are Xbox only. Make sure you're subscribed, comment your game attack and I'll pick some random people to win a code for this new Universal Icons car pack. More on that in a minute. What we're going to do first is go through the festival playlist as that has five new cars and then we'll touch more on that car pack. So in the festival playlist for the full series for 80 points you can get the first new car the Kia EV6 GT from 2023 and for 160 points the Razor TS from 2019. There is one new car in every week and also a brand new car in the full series which is that Kia. The first week which is summer for 20 points you can get the second new car of the month this Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Very cool. And for 40 points, the Porsche Mission R. The Forzadon shop for that first week has an Alpine, an Aston Martin, this is fine phrase, an announcer countdown horn, and a wristwatch. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which is autumn, for 20 points you can get the third new car of the month, the Ionic 5N from 2023. That is the car we already knew was coming thanks to the teaser over on Twitter by Playground Games. And then for 40 points you can get the Nissan Z. The Forzadon shop for that second week has the Mercedes AMG 1, Hennessy Velociraptor 6x6, what's inside a moat, a nature horn and a trailblazer finished tee. Here are the rest of the challenges available for that second week. The third week, which is winter, for 20 points you can get the next new car, it's been long awaited, the Toyota GR Yaris. And then for 40 points, the Mercedes AMG E63. The Forza on shop for that third week has a McLaren Speedtail, the Warthog, Horizon Raptors hat, Hot Wheels ice horn and then a last man standing phrase. Here are the rest of the challenges available for that third week. <laughs> fourth and final week which is spring for 20 points you can get the fifth new car of the month the Porsche Taycan CT from 2023 and then for 40 points the Ford Fiesta number 14. The Porsche Fun Shop for that fourth week has the Cooper Urban Rebel, the Aventador SV, Macarena Emote, Cuckoo Horn and Leather Boots. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth and final week. So that's the full festival playlist. There are five new cars. I'll remind you again, we've got the Kia EV6 GT, we've got the Ford Mustang Dark Horse, the Ionic 5N, the Toyota GR Yaris, and the Porsche Taycan CT. Now, car pack. Let's hear some details about that bad boy. The Universal Icons Car Pack. This pack contains five universally recognized vehicles that debuted in iconic movies and TV shows distributed by Universal Pictures. We've got the Time Machine from Back to the Future 1, where you have a body lighting that is activated when hitting 88 miles an hour. How cool is that? We've got the same thing again from the, from the Time Machine from Back to the Future 2 and 3, again with body lighting that is activated when hitting 88 miles an hour. We've got a, the kit from Knight Rider. I'm not familiar with that, I've not seen that. But this car includes a Super Pursuit Mode body kit. The Super Pursuit Mode is a body kit that players can install which adds air brakes to the car that activate when you brake. That is awesome. And then we've got a final car which is the 1992 Jeep Wrangler Sahara from Jurassic Park. What a car pack that is. Very random. As I said, I'm going to be giving away some of these, so get commenting, get subscribing if you want a chance to win that. If you don't win it, it's going to cost you $10, 10 pounds, or sorry, $10, 10 euros, or eight British pounds. Again, not included in any of the special Forza Horizon 5 editions as expected. So a very, very interesting car pack. Uh, some things in here we actually did notice that were leaked quite a while ago. We'll touch on that at the end of the video. But yeah, Universal Icons car pack coming to the game with five new cars that makes 10 new cars in this update event lab props as predicted they are giving us a very generous event lab props pack again all focusing on road and racing props all with snap functionality so we've got a highway entrance we've got highway curves we've got high just a lot of highway related roads which is really cool i believe i have a picture displaying quite a lot of the new props as you can see they're all 
highways really it's time for people to start making their own highways in event lab props which is going to be awesome we've also got a new gameplay prop as well which is a robot collectible or robot smashable i can presume that this is the collectible for this update as well i've got a picture of it on screen i don't know what it reminds me of but it reminds me of something what else have we got well we have other world cosmetics and stuff the evolving world has a robot collectible we've just spoken about that there's a new accolade for collecting all of the horizon modern horizons cars not the car pack ones there is a shark outfit it's a bit random but there you go there is a shark outfit pictured on screen you can get that and then bugs and fixes like normal there's not a ton of them there's only one <laughs> with some developers notes there will be more things fixed in this update we'll just have to wait for the full release notes to know what they are they fix an issue with the Volkswagen ID4 this update will release tomorrow at 6 p.m which is the Tuesday so if you're watching this anytime after that the update is out now including the car pack now that is it for the Modern Horizons update that is everything that is in it now we did actually guess a few days ago when we did our predictions video that the Toyota Yaris was a certain contender for this update and we got that right we can see now what they were talking about when they said a highly requested car is coming they were on about the Toyota GR Yaris as you can see here it was third on this list when I took this screenshot at least and I believe the Ford Mustang Dark Horse was also fairly high up there as well so we actually got two highly voted cars in this update along with some other pretty cool cars as well so they've done pretty good on the cars in this update and as for the Back to the Future car pack which is very random and very bizarre this does actually explain something because you might not know if you're not a follower of the channel a good few months ago now we cover leaks and we covered a leak where the back to the future text string was spotted in the files now obviously back then we had no idea what this could mean but this was found with other body kit text strings and now we're getting back to the future cards in the game with body kits it makes sense as to what that was so that was pretty cool to see that that leak turned out to be true and you also if you're a long time watcher you'll remember that there were also some Jurassic Park leaks as well I think I think it was last year now so a very long time ago and lo and behold we have received a Jurassic Park car in the game is that a coincidence I don't know but it turns out that these leaks do eventually scatter into the game great to see next up guys we've got horizon cars and coffee which is going to have a coffee shop location yes the coffee cup leak that we spoke about a couple of weeks ago has turned out to be true now about the coffee shop location i will do a video talking all about this in the future as we usually do i don't want people to get their hopes up that this is some kind of map expansion or something being added that's really big and great this is probably just a small evolving world change i know it does say coffee shop location which i don't know anything about it yet it does sound intriguing but let's not jump to conclusion and expect a brand new big location or map expansion but yeah wait for my video where we talk all about it to see what we really could be getting that's it for update 35 guys make sure to like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you want a chance at winning the car pack codes and i'll see you